In a New Year press statement, President Muhammad Buhari pledges to ensure a free and fair general election in 2019. The president writes, Elections need not to be do or die affair, and we should not approach that eventuality in a democracy with trepidation and mortal fear. Happily, a large number of presidential candidates have committed to peace, and peace we shall have. Those who continue to trumpet falsehood and negativity are on their own, fighting a losing battle. The greater number of Nigerians are trusting and believing that we shall deliver on our promises for a level playing field at the polls, and that is what we shall do. The president adds that Nigerians desire peace, security, prosperity, inclusiveness, and infrastructural development. In the president's words, he states, That is the journey we have embarked on since we came on board in 2015, and we are not distracted as we move on. We are resolved to build a country in which the resources are utilized for the benefit of the largest number and not appropriated by a privileged few in their never-ending quest to satisfy their greed. We are on this mission together, and I assure you a firm commitment to the ideals of a safe, secure, fair, just, and prosperous country. President Buhari states that he is aware that the country has had its challenges in the area of security, economy, politics, and social, but work are on to resolve them all. Reactions are quick to pour in over the president's New Year message. Some want the president to sign the Electoral Act if free and fair elections would be achieved. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had ruled out the possibility of implementing all the provisions of the amended Electoral Act if given presidential assent, particularly as they relate to electronic voting. Uh, the truth of the matter is that the first framework for a credible and free election is the enabling legislation, which is the Electoral Act. And uh, the president three times last year, four times last year, declined assent to very critical amendments that were designed by the National Assembly to ensure that we'll have a free, credible election. Even in spite of the fact that the electoral management body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, you know, had proposed most of those amendments. And you now the backroom interface between the National Assembly and stakeholders, you know, for the improvement in the electoral legislation, most of these uh, amendments were agreed upon by INEC. And for the president to say on January 1st that he's committed to a free, credible, and free, I mean, credible election, uh, having declined accent to the Electoral Act, to me, amounts only to a double speak. Mind you, the deployment of soldiers, you know, for the conduct of civil duties uh, essentially has been aggravated in this current administration. Uh, you will recall that over 30,000 uh, police officers and soldiers were deployed in Ekiti and in the Shun elections. And the outcome, you know, were clear testimonies to the fact that this government is not committed to any credible and free elections. The people were intimidated by the soldiers and the police officers. Election, in, particularly in Oshun State, uh, during coalition, had to be suspended and results cancelled, contrary to the provisions and the, the, the guidelines for the conduct of elections, which requires that only the polling unit officer, you know, can um, cancel, you know, results of an election. Granted, we're not conceding that uh, the president has the power to deploy the military and use all the security forces. It's important for the president to know that. It is difficult, no matter how powerful an army, it is difficult for an army to stop an idea whose time has come. Nigerians themselves are committed to a free and credible election. And the pursuit of the free and credible election agenda is a street-driven demand in Nigeria today. But Mr. James Onguga, the APC spokesman in Benue State, insists on President Buhari's determination to conduct free and fair elections this year. President Muhammadu Buhari is a man of integrity, He's a man whose words you can take to the bank. His commitment to free, fair, and credible election in 2019 is no, it's not in doubt. One, he has signed the peace accord, a clear indication that he wants this election to be very peaceful. He has committed himself to peace. 
Not only that, the PDP is harping so much on the amended electoral act that if signed, the election would have been more credible. But look at, let's borrow from the experience of 2015. We used the same electoral act that we have now, and the election was adjudged very free and fair. The winners were declared. And if the PDP government that believed in not doing things right was able to come up with what the people appreciated, they should have confidence that the Buhari administration will do better. It is not enough to just rush and sign the amended electoral act without having a deep connection with the content that is in thereof. That was put together by the National Assembly. But the president is saying some sections of the amended electoral act are contradictory and they have to be sorted out before it could be signed. Why should we just believe a National Assembly that was able to part a whole budget and mess it up? So let us take time. It is too sudden. Let us take time, look at the amended electoral act before it could be assented to by the president. For now, I, I feel the president is up to something good and PDP should just give us the benefit of doubt and see what President Buhari will come up with. Do the same thing.